The Turkish president says his military is poised to enter the northern Syrian city of Afrin. A significant milestone in its bid to take control of the region from Kurdish forces. It is intense violence and it makes filming there very difficult. But in this exclusive new footage for the first time on CNN, we get a glimpse of what is left of Afrin. And I must warn you, there is some disturbing footage towards the end of this piece. This used to be an ancient temple, famed for its carved stone lions that had survived intact for over 3,000 years. But now, exclusive new drone footage shows little of the Ain Dara temple remains, the telltale scars of airstrikes amid the green Syrian countryside. Six weeks since Turkey began its offensive against Kurdish militia in the northern Syrian region of Afrin, homes are leveled, over a hundred civilians killed. Turkey insists it is targeting terrorists and trying to avoid civilian casualties. Those who have the means to leave have packed up their belongings. But some, like Mohammed, feel they have no choice but to stay, hiding inside with his wife and ten small children, placing their fate, they say, in God's hands. Our faith in God is strong, and we only fear him. Of course we fear for our children, but where should we go? Wherever we go is the same. His children, too, put on a brave face. They no longer flinch at the sound of explosions. For another family being treated at a Frin hospital, tragedy has already struck. Benefsh was in the kitchen cooking. I heard the sound of a shell falling in front of the door. It was dark. I went out and saw my son Furat. He lost his legs and hands, but he was still alive. My daughter was dead, and I took her out of the rubble. Three of their four children were killed. Look at this. These children, what are they guilty of? Are they politicians? Are they military? In the morgue, their small bodies are prepared for burial, faced with the senseless loss of young life, a desperate cry for help. Where is the USA? Where is Russia? Where are the human rights? What is happening to us? I call on the Germans to respond. This is a massacre in Afrin. So far, no sign her call will be answered.